Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your girl Bun, and yes, I am back with another video. It's been a long time, it's been four, five, six months, I'm not even sure when the last time I filmed was, but tonight I'm going to a little dinner and I thought I have some time and I really would love to sit down and film again. Um, despite all the craziness this year, I've just been really, really busy and which I'm very blessed for. Um, but yeah, I really haven't had time to sit down and film. It's really seldom that I actually do a full face um, with like lashes and lip and the whole thing because where are we going? What are we doing? But tonight, girl, we gonna beat this face. We, we gonna bring it back. We gonna bring it back. Let's get into the video. Okay, so don't mind her. She's just, I don't know what's happening. I really don't. She wanted to hang out, and I don't know. If you can see my spray tan, yes, I spray tan. So my face is a lot lighter than my body right now and my hands, but we're about to fix that. The face is prepped and ready to go. It's moisturized, plump. She's feeling nice, fresh, fun. Okay, so the first step, I'm just going to prime my skin. I'm gonna use my little Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas Primer and just put some on my forehead, kind of the center of my face and on my uh, chin, and then right here on my nose. I'm just gonna rub that here. I don't wanna put too much on here because she's, 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 she's mad. So I just put that um, primer just in the center of my face it kind of just smooths out those pores there, and I don't have any other primer that I'm gonna use today. I'm just gonna use that. So for foundation, I'm gonna do a little bit different than I normally do. I'm gonna take, this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot from IT Cosmetics. This is in the medium shade, which I ordered this just because I had to order something else. Never even like thought about this, but I'm obsessed with this, and I wanna get a lighter shade. This is not dark for I mean, this is too dark for like highlighting uh, concealing, but it's truly like a concealer shade um, to conceal. I'm gonna take a little flat brush. This is a clean, I just cleaned all my brushes. A little flat brush and I'm gonna dip it in here. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eye. She's so thick and creamy. My nose. On my forehead. I'm gonna be using this as like a foundation as well. A little bit everywhere, honestly. Now I'm gonna take this NARS, this is the Natural Radiant Foundation, and I have this is the shade um, 1.5. I am, I did self tan so I can go, get away with this. This is, matches me a lot better right now. So I have my Real Technique sponge. So I have it pretty dry, I have it really, really wrung out. Um, I washed it last night, let it air dry, and barely put some water on it, so it's really dry. I've used it more dry lately, and it's not soaking up so much product. I'm getting more coverage, so yeah, that's it's working for me. I'm going to take this NARS foundation. I'm going to do two pumps, not too much of this. I'm going to just take this and dot this around the face. And then I like to take the rest on my hand and get on my sponge and then go in and start blending out. So I'm obsessed with this IT Cosmetics concealer pot. I love it. I will just use it. Um, just with just for foundation um, most days because I'm doing pretty much light coverage now. The finish of these two products are so good. Um, it's still really dewy and I'm just obsessed. I love a good glowy look. Why is this pimple like so mad? 
like, why is she so mad? Like, calm down. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty concealer. I'm in the shade 190W, and this is a really good concealer, by the way. Um, it's very, very hydrating, has a great little finish. So if you're looking for concealer, and this is really cool. Um, oh my gosh, my nose is itching. Oh. I'm gonna take this concealer, I'm gonna place them right on the inner corner, and then on the outer corner, lifting it up a bit, and then on the tip of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I blend it out, just to get the most coverage as possible. This concealer, the color looks crazy and really yellow, but I promise you, it's gonna come together and it's gonna look fabulous. Or maybe it won't, I don't know, but I'm just kidding, it's gonna look fine. I'm going to blend her out now. Now for cream contour, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty um, Cheeks Out. This is in Macchiato. I am obsessed. I use this whether it's a full coverage, light coverage, like I'm always using this. I'm, it's such a good product, it blends good, and just everything about it is just good. So you can obviously tell I love it. I need to get a new one, but if you haven't tried it, you need to try this, and you'll need it for summertime. It's coming up. Summer 2021, it's gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna put some on this little round brush here and I just cream contour a bit. Really sculpt out my cheekbones. And I really push this into my hairline because um, you can't be having like a wide hairline, you know? We'll just push it up there. I kind of put this like on my eyelids too, just to create a shadow there. Now I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend everything out so it's pretty seamless and there's no crazy harsh lines or anything, and everything is kind of just blending all together. I'm gonna take this Fenty, this is this Pro Filter, this is in Butter. This is one of my favorite powders. I'm gonna take this and take my Real Technique sponge with the flat side, just carve underneath my cheekbone here. I'm gonna place some powder here. So I definitely don't set like I used to set. We all go through stages, but thank God we're out of that stage because, wow, I'm gonna set my neck. So I always do that. I'm just gonna take some more <clears throat> and just set my neck. <laughs> I don't want my neck to be like glowy. No. Set the neck. All right, so now I'm gonna set the under eyes. I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury, 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 Tilbury? Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm gonna set my under eyes. This is the shade one, fair, cause your girl, she fair. Okay, I'm gonna take this small little, well, it's like a big eyeshadow blending brush. I set my under eye with it. and then set my eyelids. And I know this is kind of weird, but I'm gonna set like on my brow a little bit. And then my smile lines a little bit around my nose. And then 
right there on my forehead, just right here in between. Okay, so my skin still looks dewy. I just have to set those areas because I'll be looking like a mess. I did not set my face the other day at all with no powder. And I asked my sister, I was like, am I good? She's like, no, you need to go powder. So yeah, I don't think I can get away with that, but I love it. Take my fluffy brush, dust this off. I cleaned all my brushes last night. It's the best feeling to have all clean brushes. But I will say like they just work better dirty, you know? So I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill palette, the very first palette with Morphe that she did, and I'm gonna just do a little eye look, nothing crazy. I'm gonna dip into like this shade. Am I? Am I gonna do that? I'm dipping into this shade. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna place this all over the lid. I don't really know what I'm doing, what look I'm doing. I'm just want to do a kind of a neutral eye, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I do like to keep my eyeshadow um, like right above the crease. Like right above, the, so keep your eyes open when you apply it, and then just like literally like right above the crease, I like to drag my shadow. For my eye shape, it just looks, I just like it. So now I'm gonna take this dark brown, right there, and I'm gonna take a little small angled brush, and I'm gonna do a little liner, and then just And this is another thing that you have to find your eye shape for liner, because what I have found, like I can, can I talk? What I have found is like my liner is not gonna look good all the way over. I have small eyes, it makes my eyes look small, it's not cute. So I just do like halfway or like right on the edge. It just works for me. Taking a little small flat brush, I'm going to put some, I'm gonna take the same shade on my eyeshadow. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line really quick. And then I'm probably gonna darken it up because I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna take this, what is this? I can barely read this. Is this LA Girl? LA Girl Glide Gel Liner, okay, love that. Okay, brown. Well, I could have said that, but brown, okay. It's the shade brown, lovely, love that. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. So, I need to fix this. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade in this palette and I gotta darken my eye up because that's just too dark on the bottom, honey. I'm just gonna put this in the crease. I'm just gonna run this here so I can darken it up because without, like, I don't wanna ruin my liner. But I'm gonna go back in with that dark shade and apply it on my lash line as well because I need to even this out. I can't be looking like this. Lashes will help this, I promise. Don't freak out. These are from HNB Cosmetics, this is Holly Boone's brand. And honey, let me tell you, these lashes, what are these called? The Realist, because girl, you already know. So I've already used these lashes once, but I can use them again. They're in really good shape. So that's good because you want to get your money's worth, you know? 
I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm gonna apply, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is in the blackest black. And I'm gonna apply some on my lashes, honey. So I'm gonna take some Duo Lash Glue and put it on a lash and let it dry. I always put um, a little bit more on the inner corner and the outer corner because for some reason you always need some. The key is let this shit get real tacky. Like let, we're letting it sit. We're chilling with it. It's chilling. Alright, stick it in the middle, outer, inner, stick down, baby. Look, lashes and liner are just something that you have to mentally, and I'm not, I'm not kidding, mentally prepare yourself for it. So they're not quite done yet. I need to let them dry so I can really move and manipulate them. But, ooh, bitch, these are some lashes, let me tell you. Like these are the kind of lashes that like kind of look, it's kind of hard to look up, but it's okay. I'm gonna take this nesting bitch face palette. This is, has some contours, some blushes, some highlights. I'll take both of these actually. Mix them. So when I, when I bronze, I'm just going to be pressing, so I'm being very careful when I bronze because I, I did not set the rest of my face, so it's still a little bit tacky, so I don't want it to move around, so I'm just going to be kind of pressing this into the skin. And then I'm gonna take a, a little fluffy brush. I'm gonna take the lighter shade in this palette and I'm just gonna bronze my nose a little bit. Bronze my nose, contour my nose. Taking this lighter pink in this palette, I'm going to use it as a blusher. She's really pigmented, so be careful. <gasps> Don't freak out, it's fine. Oh my God. Okay, so sometimes I go a little crazy with the blusher, but it's okay. Like the blusher looks really intense on camera and I promise you, it doesn't look that crazy. Like, this is making me look like more clown-like and I promise you, I'm not that clown-like right now. I'm gonna fill in my brows really quickly. This is Desi by Katie, the Dose of Colors in Fuego. Fuego? And I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting with this right here. It's this like golden highlight. I'm gonna do a tad bit on my cheekbones, just a little bit. Kind of bring it down my cheeks. I love that I highlighted my blemish. Great. And then sip my nose, chin, and then just take a little bit, place it on the in between there. Now, to set my face, I'm gonna be taking this Tatcha. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Should give her a good shake. Put this on my sponge. Put some on my sponge directly. I like to tap it out on my hand. Do one more spritz. And then just go in and set my face this way. Cause this really, 
Look, that blemish is just in the, it's just gonna be popping tonight. It's just, it is what it is. So I like to press this into my skin. For some reason, the sprayer on this, I don't like. That's why I kind of stopped using it because it caused like all kinds of little marks and I don't like that. And then you can see that I have a very luminous little look here. Um, I'm gonna do some bottom mascara really quickly. I don't ever really wear bottom mascara, but if I do, it's the last step. And it already transferred, it's just a hot mess, but I feel like my eyes are like dark, so I have to like do it. Okay, I'm gonna take this NYX lip liner. This is in Nude Beige, and I'm gonna line my lips with this. And when I line my top lip, I don't line out my cupid's bow. I just kind of go make a straight line to make my lips look more full. And then kind of shade this in. Okay. Because lip liner just really stays all night. I'm gonna take this MAC lipstick. This is in Bare Bling. I'm gonna put a little bit on the center of my lips. Mmm, cute. I'm going to fix my hair, put my outfit on, and I'll be back. So I finished my hair, put on some little jewelry, and yeah, I actually changed my lid. Just put my Jouer, my lip enhancer, on top, I use this daily and I just love it, so I feel like a more glossy vibe with this. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and I wish you guys all a very happy, happy new year. Um, 2021, let's get better, okay? Don't try to play us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.